that sort of nature saying, who are you? Mm -hmm. Is there anything like even that much of uh, Tess and Shirley MacLaine? Hmm. Well, I suppose there's something of all the characters I've played in me and something of me in all the characters. But uh, I don't even like look at that or, or think about that because I just let it come out. I mean, if I were this woman in that position and my husband had died and I, I was out of the halls of power and I was banished to a reclusive life in Columbus, Ohio, I think maybe that's how I would act. Maybe not for five years. I mean, she was. But I think I would act like that with a Secret Service agent who wouldn't let me have any freedom. So yes, I am like that. Yeah, I, had, I, I thought that was you. I mean, I like, you know, I think you're wonderful all the time anyway. But I said, boy, he's perfect for this. You know, Why? And, uh, I don't know. I just thought you were just perfect for it. Yeah. It's just one of those things that she's great in this character, you know, because that was just, it just brought whatever characters you can bring out. That was a good one. Yeah. And she had this, uh, this sense of, um, she, she put her husband there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was her Phi Beta Kappa. It was her money. It was her sense of, uh, of how to help people. She's a liberal Republican, knowing how to m manipulate power. Strong, tough lady. Yeah. But, but very compassionate, mm -hmm. I think, and had a real, she has a sense of loneliness that she can identify with. Absolutely. Is this a comedy or a drama or what? I don't know that it's necessarily put it in a category, but uh, it's a little bit of both, isn't it, without giving away what the secret is? Yeah. It's, it's a relationship between two people that are, are it's, it's the relationship's based on really important things, and that's where the comedy always comes from. You don't laugh at something unless you know that underneath there's a serious problem. It's like Robin Williams in Mrs. Doubtfire. You laugh at him and the disguise because he's desperate to spend time with his children. He's been aced out of the loop with the family. Mm -hmm. That's why you laugh. Here you laugh because she wants freedom. He's commissioned by the president to not give her any because she's a national treasure. There's a lot of things about her that are difficult and a pain in the butt, which the public doesn't know, mm -hmm. but the people protecting her know. So there's real grounds for comedy there. Mm -hmm. And so it's a comedy drama love story, maybe even. Uh, as an Oscar winner, and you were speaking of Robin Williams there, he was left out of, of oh, the Oscars. Yeah. I know everyone can't be nominated. Martin Scorsese was left out. I could list, you know, obviously it's a, an election type thing, and everyone can't be a winner, everyone can't be a nominee. Uh, why does the Academy particularly seem to discredit comedy and not think it's either very hard or worthy of uh, the award of excellence? Well, they don't always. I mean, The Apartment won the Academy Award. Yeah. Uh, Terms of Endearment won. But it's rare as opposed to, maybe there's not many great comedies, I guess. I could. If it's a social comedy with drama that's authentically substantiated, that has a better chance than a plain drama. Mm -hmm. But if it's just a, a, if it's a Doc Simon comedy, I think you're right. Because there's usually a lot of pictures up in competition that really do move you in a dramatic way. When you vote, do you sweat it out, or you just kind of know what you're going to do and you do it? You don't worry about it too much as far as voting is concerned? I pretty well know what I'm going to do. I've seen them all. I usually know. Foreign pictures sometimes I have a problem with because I can't catch up with them while they, they come and go quickly. But uh, I, I kind of know. Do you watch them at the movie theater or do you watch them at home? No, movie theater. I think they deserve the respect of the big screen and having the collective feeling of the audience there. You know, a lot of people still have not seen the movie Schindler's List because they just haven't made themselves go to the movie and go see it. I think it's the, one of the masterpieces, and I don't think I've ever used that word to describe a film that I've seen in my little short lifetime, uh, and they should go. Do you think that the Academy will follow suit and go ahead and oh, sure. let it win? Oh, sh oh, sure. And let Stephen win? They won't let him win. Well. They'll vote for him to win. When I saw Schindler's, um, there were some people who got up and watched the film from the door, and then came back. And first I thought they were truly leaving, but they, they knew they couldn't really leave, but it was very difficult. Now this is Stephen's year, and he's done a masterpiece. I mean, he's a man who caught up with his heritage, and he decided to, um, of course I love all of the metaphysical things he's done, mm -hmm. 
I would love those, but I really do think that he's a master at that. What he did was go within his own heart and peruse and investigate where he came from, who his ancestors were. What I loved most about the picture was its economy, its Spartan sense of expression. Uh, except for that last scene, he wasn't at all overindulgent. I liked it where he could push you so far and then he knew he was pushing you too far and he let you back. Yeah. Because he could have easily gone over the top too many times with that yeah. subject matter. And oh, he yeah. knew he was brilliant doing it. Yeah. I guess, it's, it, are, how, how do you feel about that Oscar that you won a time ago? I mean, uh, for terms of endearment, for example, the whole Oscar deal. Something you're proud of, you wear it, it'll be with you forever. Academy Award winner Shirley MacKaine. Mm. It's like being Sir Lancelot. <laughs> <laughs> Sir? <laughs> <coughs> Madame Queen Elizabeth. It's always that with you, that Academy Award thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a vote of appreciation, confidence, and inspiration from your peers. I mean, there is no real fixing in the Academy. They vote what they feel, what they think. And um, there's nothing like it. It's like winning a gold medal. Yeah. Nice seeing you again. I love seeing you in this movie. Oh, thank, thank you. you a lot. Thanks, Jim. Thank you. Like your boots, too. Now,